What's going on everybody? This is Big Mike. Welcome to Big Mike's Reactions. I am perfectly dressed for the occasion because today I have raspberry flavored airplane jelly. If you don't get that raspberry reference I just did, watch a little movie called Thoroughly Modern Millie. You'll get it. So, as you guys have seen each week, I've been trying different flavors of airplane jelly. Last week I had the amazing green apple and then prior to that we started off with strawberry. Now I have had raspberry jello or jellies you guys want to call it before because when I made my trifle I had to mix in some generic uh, raspberry jelly. Now I did some searching. I felt like I had tried this one before but I guess I haven't. But then again, it wouldn't be in my pantry either, so would it? So now, let's finally get this underway. Let you guys get a good little look at that. Ooh, look at that pretty color. Look at that. Beautiful. Almost like a, almost looks like a ruby, don't it? This is my very first time trying Aeroplane Jelly Raspberry. Here we go. Ooh. Hot damn. That's magnificent. It's almost like candy. The raspberry flavor is not only very bold, but I really love its color. You can kind of see it's kind of a pinkish jiggly here. Mm. Amazing. You know, I mentioned it before, but this is what I mean when I say when you do something with real colors, real flavors, you get real taste. Mm. This is fire, you guys. Oh, and I want to make something abundantly clear, if I may. Mm. By the way, before I continue... What I like about this one is it does actually have an aftertaste, but it's not too strong. Mm. It doesn't taste artificial. Now, I've been reading the comments. A lot of people say, oh, well, you're calling this Jell-O. Americans don't have Jell-O, or I mean, they don't have jelly, they have jam. Let me explain something to you. First, I gotta get another bite of this. Mm. Here, in the United States in particular, we do have jelly and jam. Typically, jam, or preserves if you will, it's usually actual fruit with just sugar and a little bit of citric acid or maybe even some uh, ascorbic acid, I think it's also called. Or uh, Actually, now that I think about it, wait one second. This is called fruit pectin. I don't know if you guys have this in Australia or anywhere else in the world, but this is something that we use right here perfectly for homemade jams and jellies. So it's always been my understanding that, like I said, jam is actual fruit, actual sugar, and that stuff, pectin or ascorbic acid or vitamin C as it's known as, that kind of stuff that's crushed up and has like actual bits of fruit or seeds in it, like blueberry, raspberry, grape, strawberry, that's a jam and it's thicker. Jelly, for example, is a lot like this stuff right here. It's much more lighter, it's not as dense. It's wobbly and there's even a song or a lyric rather, must be jelly cause jam don't shake. So, Jelly, usually more, like I said, more lighter, more jigglier, more sugar, a lot less real fruit. No offense, and I don't mean to start anything in the comments, just because I'm an American doesn't mean I don't know the difference between jam and jelly. You guys call your variant of gelatin jelly. But I'm aware of what jello is and what airplane jelly is. They are both edible flavored gelatins. Mm. And as far as I'm concerned, Australia makes the best of the lot. 
And with that being said, I want to thank you guys for watching my very first time reaction today to Aeroplane Raspberry Flavored Jelly. As always, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more food taste testings, movie reviews, music reactions, and a whole lot more. You guys are amazing. Enjoy your winter. I know I'm still stifling and sweating out here in this late April. And be sure to come back next week when I'll be trying yet another amazing yet exotic flavor of Aeroplane Jelly. This one, by the way, also just as good as all the rest. I'll see you guys a little bit later. Cheers. Mm-hmm.